What is this, a knife block for ants? Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Oalo and this channel is all about knife knowledge, reviews, unboxings and head to heads. And today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing a new to me magnetic knife block called Rokake. First things first, let's get the name out of the way. Rokake in Japanese means hexagon and as you can see these are hexagonal knife blocks which makes sense. Now, Rokake is a company that was founded in 2021 by Rene in a place called The Hag in the Netherlands. I looked it up and this place looks absolutely beautiful. Next time or first time I go to Netherlands, I will 100% check it out. Now, he makes all his magnetic knife blocks in his little workshop. They're all handmade and the main point, as you can see here, it's actually going to be twofold. It's going to be the fact that they are hexagonal, which I find very innovative in fashion for, and the next selling point is kind of the way that it attaches. It has this stainless steel wall mount bracket. What that allows you to do is it allows you to remove the block as such from the stainless steel wall bracket, which means you can go and mix and match with their different wood types. Now they have four different wood types. They have for outdoor use, a treated bamboo, which is why it's darker than you're used to seeing because it's heat treated, another wood called garape, and then for indoor use, they have oak and walnut. When Rene reached out to me in November of 2023 and asked me if I wanted to review his products, it came at a fantastic time for me because I was actually just finishing to figure out what I wanted to do with the kitchen knife wall upstairs. And if you haven't seen that video, that video is here. I use Piotr the Bear magnetic knife strips. Now downstairs in the YouTube studio, I wanted to do something completely different. Unlike Piotr the Bear where I like it because it's a classy look. It kind of just blends in the background. It allows you to still focus on the knives downstairs because it's really actually in the background of my videos. I wanted something that was more innovative, fashion forward, a little bit more ballsy. And so that's why I was really interested when Rene reached out to me to say, absolutely, send me your products. Let's see what you're all about and let's review them together. Now his website, before I talk about what he sent me, is super cool. I like that it's aesthetically pleasing, which most websites are not these days. It's easy to navigate. You have a virtual reality simulator where you can see the products that they sell. So the knife blocks, the mini and large rokake block, which is for steak knives or just larger kitchen knives on the large rokake. You can play around with the different wood types. For the mini and the large rokake, you can play around with the different top types. The one thing I wish he did do, Rene, was that he included the wood that you would select. So you can select the color and you have an idea. But say between the treated bamboo or the walnut, if someone isn't used to knowing what these wood varieties look like, then you wouldn't know. So it'd be super cool in the future if he kind of just adds that in there. Now, Rene from Rokake sent me four boxes. Three of those boxes contain magnetic knife blocks and one of those boxes contained the mini Rokake. For those of you super keen that are very observant, you'll also notice that in two of those boxes, well, the products are already up because that's what I wanted for my knife wall. I asked for a three-piece walnut and for a five-piece mix on top that has, I believe, bamboo, oak, and garape. It was a very nice unboxing experience, nice little magnetic lid. Of course, you'll have something like business cards. You'll also have these two spacers that come with each box so that you can add it behind the stainless steel wall bracket to distance it from the wall, making it seem like the bar is floating from the wall. With each box, it wasn't my shipping because he was trying to bring down the weight of the shipment, but essentially you'll also get the screws and the drywall plug, so you don't have to worry about that. Everything you need comes in the box. Of course, you'll also have the products, so he sent me a five-piece oak, he sent me a single garape, a single oak, and of course the three-piece walnut and the five-piece mixed with the mini rokake. No complaints about the unboxing experience. I found the block super easy to attach on and off, but there is a bit of a trick, and I'm going to show you right now. So here we are attaching the block, you have the pins, you have holes behind, you put the pins in the hole, and there you go, easy peasy. Now, if you want to remove it, and I've done this by trial and error, is you also want to pull from where the pins are. If you try to pull from the bottom, you're going to find it difficult to pull out. If, however, you pull from the top, same direction as where the pins are, much easier to remove. Now, I do find that in terms of the magnetic strength of the block onto the plate. Excellent, it's actually almost too strong. But here's where I struggle. This is a magnetic knife block, right? 
as you'll see, what I often like to do is I like to take a product, kitchen tool or kitchen knife, and push it outside of its boundaries. So when I unboxed the Rokeke products, I of course used some knives that weren't ideal either for the mini Rokeke or for the blocks themselves. But I did find that the magnetic strength was a little bit weak, so I did let Renee know that because at the end of the day, I want to make sure that my knives feel secure, but I can also put whatever knife I want up on the blocks. And two knives that I really wanted to have in the YouTube studio just weren't compatible with the product. The first one was the Shark Tooth Deba, uh, the Tinker Shark Tooth Deba, that is. It's a 210. I can't remember the weight, so I'll just put it up on screen. It isn't the largest of knives, but it is quite heavy and it's single bevel, so of course when you put the Uda side on the block, there's going to be less surface area. And then the second knife that didn't quite go up because it was sliding down, even though it's feather light, is the Takamura Uchigomo no Hana 240mm Gyoto. Now in the past, I have run into issues with other magnetic knife block companies where certain stainless steels didn't adhere very well and same thing with the Shark 2 Deba. So I'm not new to this of having these issues but the point is if I get a product and all I say is fantastic I love the shape of the hexagons, yeah that bracket is really cool, I like that you got four wood types, that's not really helpful. So again I did communicate this to Rene and hopefully what he'll do in the future is he'll include some stronger magnets. Maybe it's as easy as moving the magnet just a little bit closer to the surface of the block. I'm not sure what he's going to do. Now, each block does have two magnets that should be vertically aligned. So that also helps kind of keep your knife, well, vertically aligned. Same thing with the mini Rokake. So these aren't things that I hold against them. But again, it's my job. It's my duty. I want to serve the kitchen knife community by making sure that when I receive something, even if it's a free tool, I'm going to spend a lot of time making sure that it can benefit everyone from the maker to the community. If I can benefit the maker to creating a better product, then of course I also benefit the kitchen knife community. Now, because you know that I'm candid with these things, here's a piece of footage that I sent to Renee so that I can explain to him where I thought his product needed to go to be just a little bit better. Hey Rokake, I'm very excited because my sister was the interior designer. She's told me where I should put the Rokake products. Uh, looks like it's probably gonna be because you can't really see this in the frame of the YouTube video. So the three are going to be above this shelf and probably around here. And then the five above the shelf that you can't really see about here. What I wanted to show you is, I think this is a great piece of information. People always want as much information as possible on websites. And what I didn't see on your website, but what I would like to see, because there was a specific knife I wanted on your racks, but it's not going to work because it's too heavy and it's single bevel. So it'd be fantastic if you had like a capacity weight limit. So what I did yesterday is I opened the box again. Um, now Edmonton is very dry and it was minus 40 I think when this got shipped. So I put some nice moisturizer and mineral oil. So much shinier than when they got here. That's soaked in so that's nice. But what I wanted to show you is even if I planned I'm putting this knife on it and I really did want to because there's specific knives I want to have in the back but it doesn't work because it's just not enough oh sorry there's just not enough strength so something to consider when making these is the strength of the magnets now you don't want them too strong but I would have thought that it would have held this knife this is a 210 deba so it's not very long it is thick but again I'm here to also help not just to make videos so something to consider, right? So I, I don't feel comfortable putting this on because it's going to fall right off. If I put it on the reverse Uda side, it gives me a bit more confidence, but not really. And so I'm going to check my spreadsheet and see what the weight of this knife is. So for example, if it was 400 grams, then it'd be important on the website to say, for instance, a load capacity of a hexagon 400 grams. Hope. Oh. That's helpful. I'll talk to you soon. Another piece that I wasn't crazy about, which I also communicated to Renee, is the fact that quite opposite to the Peter the Bear, the logo on the Rokake is almost too present. Now, to Renee's point, because it was a good point, when you put a knife in front of it, as you can see here, it disappears once you put a knife in front of it. He will in the future probably think about making it a little bit smaller, but that was something else that I said to him. Now, I found these products quite easy to mount to the wall. Essentially, I took time with Becca to get in front of the camera to make sure that the knives weren't going to kind of poke in my space while I'm filming a YouTube studio. So I really wanted to make sure that they were aligned properly. I asked my sister, who's got very great interior design skills, to help me decide where I should put them, and I'm super happy with how they went up. Kino, as usual, was absolutely no help in this process, but we had a great time playing around with angles, heights, and essentially just getting everything up.
the beauty of these is, again, with time, you will be able to mix and match. So though they are available in one piece, three piece, and five piece, you don't need to order a five piece just of walnut. It could be three walnut, two oak, and then they don't always need to be in the same space either. You can just easily remove them, take a piece of walnut, put it there, and now it just feels like a brand new bar. So thank you again, Renee, for sending me these Urakeke products. I'm super happy with the knife wall in the YouTube studio. It looks great. It's again, exactly what I wanted it to be. I want it to be fashion forward, innovative. I don't want it to blend too much. Already it's a bit blurry in the background because that's the artistic look we go with the YouTube videos. Um, now, if you are interested in these products in Europe, they are available in many, many different store locations. You can always find that on their website. I'll leave a link to the website in the video description below. If you're outside of Europe, then the easiest thing to do is to just go on Instagram, send them a message, let them know which of the products you're interested in. It could be a one-piece block, a three-piece, a five-piece block, a mini rokake, or a large rokake, which isn't here, but you get the point. It's just larger than the mini. Um, and let him know that you're interested, and he can probably hook you up, give you some shipping details, and then send it over to you. So that's it guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this little feature on the Rokake Magnetic Knife Blocks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. How does this compare to what you've normally seen in Magnetic Knife Strip? Again, what struck to me as being really cool was just that innovative design. The bracket is cool too, but I'm really more about the design than anything else. Most importantly, I hope that in the future there'll be just some changes to magnet strength because that's the whole point of these blocks. Again, I'm not having any issues with these. They've been up for weeks. None of them have dropped, but like I've often done with even other magnetic knife bar companies, if ever you put a knife up and it doesn't feel safe, then don't leave it there. Don't take the risk. It's not worth it. They're up there because it's a nice stored solution. It's easy on the eyes, but it needs to be safe. So if ever a knife does not feel safe, please just take it down. Thank you for joining me. No, these are not magnetic knife bars for ants. I thought it was a cool intro that actually Becca fed to me and I'll see you guys next time.